Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and this is Core Keeper. Here we are at our little base. We've still got two chests I can't open yet. Uh, we do have a whole bunch of stuff, though. We're basically working right now on trying to assemble a table that will let me make keys so we can open these chests. That's kind of what I I need the most. Need these iron bars for the most. In fact, we might be able to make it right now. Hold on. Is it this table? There it is, the key. Oh no, I still need eight iron bars. Tell me I didn't, no, I didn't get any. Or if I did, it's still, oh, there it is. Just what we need. We've got enough. We have enough. Let us construct the key casting table. All right, now, <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not gonna have the ingredients I need to open up these chests, but we're gonna see. Obviously we will, I'll just put this here. I'll probably have to move that chest. All right, what do we do? What do we do? Oh, okay, I just need more iron. Well, actually, we can make that. Look at this, Galaxite. Whoa. Octarine, Scarlet. We're still pretty far from the uh, final metal. Oh, we got one more. How many did I need? I'm going to say five. Seven. Seven iron bars. So really, I need 14 to open both those chests. Now, it's not necessarily essential or anything like that. It's just I'd like to see what's in those. I don't think it's anything necessarily game-breaking, so to speak. But yeah, like I said, it'd be nice to get those opened. Now, I, got, I had some commenters. Thank you all for your comments. I appreciate it. One of them specifically recommended that we do a little cooking. Maybe we should experiment with some of the foods we've got. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. Now, we have done some cooking. Oh, speaking of which, my food's already kind of low. Let's see. This is a good one. Let's have some uh, hearty pepper wrap. Oh, delicious. Eat a few of those so we fill all the way up. There we go. All right, so... I do have a few more things I want to drop off. Why didn't we put that away? Of course, I've always got wall pieces and stuff like that in my inventory. Oh, another thing you guys commented and I feel like such an idiot, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, we can make chests and they're right here. They're literally this, uh, like next to where I've been crafting my torches and stuff. So this is something you can craft right in your pocket. Look at that. And I'm a dummy. I missed it. You can see I don't have a single green chest yet. That's the first one I've placed. So yeah, I didn't notice that. I don't I don't know. But regardless, thank you guys so much for letting me know about that. Because now I can start to put some other stuff away. Thank goodness. That goes there. These chests. Oh, you know, and the same commenter who mentioned the food also was kind of querying about the NPCs. So this guy does not buy anything as far as I can tell. He's just got seasonal stuff for sale. I don't know how I would sell him, you know, anything. But um, and then I looked up on the wiki the other NPCs that are available in the game, and they're pretty limited. There's only three others besides this guy right here. There are three other NPCs, and it didn't specifically mention if those guys will buy stuff. It talks about what they sell, but it didn't mention buying, so I don't know yet. I'm not even sure, like, what they would give us. Probably some of this random currency here, like, I don't know, the ancient coins, maybe? Yeah, it says currency of the underground. I'm not sure. Obviously, the game's still in very early access, so... We are going to keep a close eye on it and see what improvements they make and stuff. Of course, let's put this all the way here. But for today, let's go ahead and... Um, I don't really need that now. Let's go ahead and work towards getting our keys crafted. And let's, like I said, let's try a little cooking for starters, though. So I've got these Karoks. This is something I've been kind of saving and I haven't really done a lot of cooking with. So maybe we'll grab... Well, let's just grab all this stuff. Now, I know we can't do the bread. I'm pretty sure. Let's grab it, though, just in case. Take that. All right, good. I think that's all the food I have. I used all my meat currently on the mushy steak, which is a good, decent little food item. All right, let's see here. So we'll open our cookbook. Karak, we know... Oh, we have experimented a little bit with this one. So we know mushrooms and larval meat with the Karak. So let's do a bomb pepper. See what we get out of that. That'll be good. What else do we know with the bomb pepper? 
Okay, we don't have marbled meat. Bomb, it looks like the bomb pepper I've tried most stuff with. Oh, look. Crunchy pepper wrap. Ar 23 armor for five minutes. That's good. I'm glad I discovered how to make chess now because I'm going to have a whole selection of foods. All right, so we need the bomb pepper plus the larval meat, I think. Yeah. Larval meat. Okay, what is that going to give us? Now, this food here, this caveling bread, I think it's just like trash food. It's like if you just have nothing else, this is good. Also, there's no like, I don't see any value on any of these items, like anything listed. Not as, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I'm just curious. Okay, so there's that. We got gooey pepper wrap. Um, Decent. Boy, these foods all do something different, don't they? They all have their own little perks and stuff. That's cool. All right, let's look at the heart berry. I've only got a couple of these, but we, we can cook with them. Marbled meat. Oh, the fish. I forgot about the fish. Mushroom, a heart berry, and a bomb pepper. So, huh, we haven't done the pepper or the heart berry and the glow tulip yet, I don't think. No, not yet. Okay, that's good. And then probably the heart berry and the insect meat. Yeah, that'll be the next one. Oh, that looks delicious. Glowing berry pudding. Yeah, the the blue flowers seem to do have like that glowing effect, no matter what you mix them with. Because these guys make me glow. This makes me glow. Max health twenty eight for five minutes. Uh, twenty five for five minutes. That's good. That's one of the better ones I've seen, honestly. Look at that, 25 max health for five minutes, plus you glow blue for two. All right, what did we make here? Um, hearty meat steak. Hey, is that? No, I've got mushy meat steak. This is better. 23 food. Okay, that one's got 25 max health for five too. Wow. Yeah, I am literally going to make a chest just for our like meals and stuff. I think I started to do that, but let's put it down here, I guess. I should, what am I doing? I should also probably move this thing. Uh, we'll leave it there for now, but let me look here. Let me see what we got. No, not that chest. Okay. Yeah, I've got one more piece of food here. Pet pellet, I don't think we can use that. I'll keep the seeds in here. Let me check out real quick. What's our garden looking like? Oh, pretty decent. Let's grab some of those heart berries. What do you say? Go ahead and get all this picked up. Look at face. How the hell did you get out? Bro, who let that who let our cow out? You see him? He's over here walking around. Hold on. He likes heart berries, I think. Come come with me, face. Oh, that's not what I have selected. Come. Come. Yes. It's like Minecraft. You gotta lure him with food. Maybe he's I don't know how what I got too far. I don't know how he got out. I really legitimately don't because I, I just almost never go up here into our little pen. Never. Come on. Oh, look at Moo. Oh, I thought he was making a break for the gate. <laughs> no, he's coming for the heart berries. All right, stay in there, you jerk. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. I don't want to lose him because if they're not protected, I mean, they could easily get killed. Because there's, look, there's slimes and stuff right here. They're only not coming through because I blocked it off. But anyway, let's stay focused. We're getting, we're doing some gardening, and I'm also gonna grab, so I'll grab this wood. Yeah, this is a decent little wood wood farm here. I think the way we've got it set up seems okay. I have a feeling if I gave it enough time, this would all just this would just fill up. We would just have full wood right there. So that's kind of cool. All right. Um. Well, I guess I should replant everything. All right, well, the garden is planted. Looking good over there. Let me close the door so our NPC doesn't escape these little guys. All right, um, so we set up this bedroom basically, I guess, for one of the ones we get. Oh, and I should mention that the uh, summoning devices for the other NPCs, they all come from bosses. So we have to defeat the bosses before we can get those guys to show up. So let's see here. We're on with our cooking. Okay, what have we not done yet? I like how they have it all kind of separated here for us. Look, the fish, the larval meat. Okay, so what haven't we done with the larva? Heartberry, 
Karak and the bomb. So I need to do the blue glowy one. Oh, what's this going to do for us? I wonder if we can cook and eat wood. No, probably not. I'm going to try the bread again, though. Although I'm fairly certain that's that's a lost cause. Ah, gooey tulip salad. This is, uh, anything you mix with those blue flowers kind of turns out to be a salad, basically. Four, four blue glow for two minutes. Yeah, that's always the same. Not the best, but that's okay. Let's see, so. Yeah, that won't go. Also, how about a block of wood? No, no good. All right, um... Larva and the bomb. Uh, there's other stuff we could mix with larva. I just, I don't have any. Wait, did I do mushrooms and larva? Oh, no, I didn't. How did I not do that? One of the easiest choices. Basically, mushrooms and anything. Let's see. See, this is wrong. Mushrooms is not a plant. They're a fungus. They need their own category here. They, they are their own separate kingdom. Let's see. Gooey mushroom soup. Yeah, standard. Standard. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, the mushroom, yeah. So we've done mostly everything now, I think, with the mushroom. Pretty sure. The mushroom and the mushroom. Oh, that's another thing I forgot. Yeah, we can always, like... Oh, did I just throw one? I think I dropped one. We can double them up, too, and see what we get from the from that kind of a concoction. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so what about two bomb peppers? Have I tried that yet? Where is the bomb pepper? I can't scroll up. Oh, there it goes. Did I try double bombs? What if it turns into, like, an actual bomb? That'd be kind of cool. Ooh, what did we get? Gooey meat steak. I don't know about that. All right, let's put this food away. I've got a ridiculous amount of just like single choice meals here. Put that in there. Oh yeah, next time we go out to fight something major, we have our we have a nice selection to choose from. I'm also going to put, I don't know what to do with these slime figurines. It seems like I'm starting to get more and more of them. Oh, I think this NPC is jealous. He probably wants one in his room. All right, buddy, I'll put one right there. There you go, it's down in the corner. You know what, next time I see him in this room, I'm gonna close the damn door and lock him in there. <laughs> I'm tired of him just wandering freely. I don't know who told him he was allowed to do that, but it wasn't me. All right, I'm gonna put these wood planks in, or the wood stuff in here. Start working on some planks. I have a feeling we'll need that. Now let's see, what is two? <gasps> spicy pepper wrap. Actually, that's pretty garbage, yeah. As a food, that's that's trash. But what about two care rocks? We haven't seen that. I feel like whatever it is, if it's like two of the same, you don't really get the best. You're not really getting the best out of that. All right, well, that's probably going to do it for our cooking experiment. Let's just put that all away. Put it up here. Bop, 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 bop. Of course, we got to see what the last one is. Um, Mushy meat. Yeah, I'll take these two food stacks. What do we got? Ooh. Crunchy stone dip snack. Food, 25 armor. Yeah, again, not a great one. Doesn't have a lot of good buffs on it. Even the food value is kind of low. But it's like, whatever. Whatever. We're trying. We're just experimenting. Now we have the recipes. So, all right. So we do need some more iron. Um, let's look at some of our other tables. Cartography table would be cool. It says a table to share your map discoveries with other explorers. That might not be necessary since we're playing single player, but I don't know what else to build other than things which require, like, ore that we don't have, like this one, the Scarlet. I, wait, have I done a jewelry? I don't think I have, actually, but we're going to need some iron for that baby. We've got, what is this one? This is like, I've forgotten. Oh, the music table, that's it, yeah, yeah. Uh, we did actually make, I think, a flute, too. I thought maybe it was going to be, like, some special summoning item or something of that nature. No, it's literally a flute that we can play music on, so there's that. You, you can get a little orchestra going here in the good old core keeper. So, where should we head? I actually would kind of want to do something different. Like, I want to, I don't know, I don't remember where that other really really challenging uh biome was that i discovered i think it was up here maybe this is it it's 
it's hard to tell. It's really, really hard to tell. Um, I'll just head up kind of in this area because it's uh, a bit different from where we've gone. So let me close the doors. Always got to be closing those doors on these NPCs. There's our garden. Looking good. All right, let's push. Let's push forward. Oh, crap. <laughs> you can see this is where... Gosh darn it. This is where I did some uh, digging of the floor. Whoops. I needed I needed floor so we could do some uh, gardening. Oh, man. We're just going to come through here with our iron weapons and stuff. Just like beasts. Look at this. Oh, this bow is also incredibly potent against these early weak allies. Or, not allies. Enemas. Wait, can we get this stuff now? No, higher mining damage. Wait, doesn't our mallet do like a whole bunch of damage? Oh. Bro, I think it's... No, it's not doing anything, actually. It's just pulling up the ground. Okay, interesting. It is doing the walls... It's kind of cool. I mean, we'll take them. I might use them. I might use them in a build. Now, let me see. Where are we? Okay, we're actually close. Yeah, yeah, this is where... This is where we're trying to get to. It's one of the few natural connectors between the area. Oh, look at this. Give me some of this wood. Okay, let me look at the map again. All right, I don't actually think now, now that I'm close to this, I don't think this is where I was when I discovered that new biome with like the different walls that we can't get through, but I'm willing to keep looking around. So let's go let's see here. I think this is just another weird, wacky slime area. Yeah. Oh, look, I left some ore though. Grab that. Yeah, you guys are barely doing much damage to me anymore. Makes me feel very powerful. Knowing I gotta switch these. There we go. Oh yeah, we're just melting through this wall now. What is this stuff anyway? Clay walls? Clay feels like sand now. Get some tin, a little bit of gold. I'll take the gold. It's funny how early you get gold, because it seems like gold is spread throughout most of the different stones and stuff, but like tin, you just don't find tin ever. I mean, early on. Okay, so this is the worm tunnel, it looks like. Interesting. Is it? I've never seen it branch like this. Whoa. That's crazy. Do you think it turns and goes in different directions and stuff? Wow. Maybe it's maybe there's different ones. I've only ever really seen Gorm, the Devourer. But then again, he could have like a twin that just has a different name and looks similar. And I wouldn't have really noticed that probably. But let's just keep going. Now, one thing I did just... Oh my god, what is this area? There's bones here and stuff. The hell? One thing I've discovered is that if you place torches along this worm track, they will get destroyed. Oh my god, what is this? <gasps> oh my god. You know what? Screw this. Getting a bow and arrow. <laughs> These things are nasty. Vitality just went up. Got ourselves a new point. So I need to take this out. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Now, what is this place? It's got that mark on the ground and stuff. Some sort of sigil. Is this like Gorm the Devourer symbol? Oh, there's a grub right there. Damn it, grub. Huh. Oh, there's more of them. Look at that guy. He just attacked my torch. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, so this is the grubby area. Yeah, you know what? This is kind of the different biome. It's just the walls are still normal clay and stuff. But the enemies do look like the kind of enemies I noticed in that separate biome so this seems like i don't know if this is a summoning area where we'll fight gorm or what but it's fascinating i wish i could mark it on the map oh wait i guess i can how do i do that mark click click it 
Okay, I don't know how to enter. No, that doesn't do it. Oh, well, no worries. I think if we look at the map, it's fairly obvious where this is. Yeah, it's off this weird, like, dog leg turn right here. Uh, I do want to kind of just see what else is up here. Oh! Oh, damn. Let's set this thing off. Oh! Eh, that was kind of anticlimactic. Ooh. I always need fiber. Oh, look, here's more. Nice, nice. Anything else? There's, like, strangely no enemies down here. Whoa, what's up? Okay, a little lag spike there. It looks like we've come to the edge of another abyss. Oh, no, there's more land right over there. Okay, okay. I'm just moving. I'm just pushing through as quickly as I can. Come on. Oh, look at this. Dang. Picking up some serious tin on this trip. Alright, let's go. What is this area? More of the, more of the same. You know what? I kind of actually want to backtrack now and go back through that worm tunnel. And go back along to see I don't know oh wait there's 10 right there I think I'll probably still use 10 and copper and stuff because we can transmute it can't we which is very helpful all right so there's that let's what I want to do is come back to where this thing turns this this structure this tunnel let's continue to follow it for a little while what's this oh another little natural land bridge and it just dead ends right here okay Hmm. This would be one interesting map to look at once it's completely un, uh, uncovered. That would be real interesting. All right, let's see here. Oh, another little land bridge. Oh, weird. Yeah, that's all right. <clears throat> we'll just keep moving. Let's see what we got. Get my bow and arrow out. That's my real weapon. Oh. It's weird how there's light coming in from the ceiling right here. Oh, <gasps> what is that? Oh, this is it. Okay, this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe my current pickaxe will be able to take out these walls. I haven't tried yet with the iron. I suspect it's probably a no, but let's try it. Oh, it does work. <gasps> but it takes forever. Larva hive wall. Okay. Yep. That's good to know. We can actually dig into some of these weird... Caves. I don't know how smart this is, but I'm going to come up in here. Hold on, let's eat. And I should also get rid of this and put our meadow milk, because that gives me like a defense buff. Looks like there's I, these little pulsating glow sacks or whatever they are. Oh, that's an enemy. Oh, I thought it was like a little chest or like a vase. Oh, dude. I bet you those things explode in my face. Kind of cowardly. What are they doing? What the heck are you? You're not even dropping anything. Oh, these walls are so grotesque. The way they move like this. Ugh. It's really nasty. I wonder if there's special ore in here. Oh, is this where I get like the scarlet ore or whatever it's called? Let's let's find out. Oh, this is clay. Damn it. Okay, that's gold. Now, I need to be looking around through this living larval wall or whatever. Looking for... Oh, there's eggs. What is this I'm picking up? Whoa! You are fast. What is that? What was that? Was it fiber? Look like little white eggs or something. I don't know. We got a lot of enemies up here, though. Okay. Doesn't seem like the bow and arrow is the best weapon for this, but it is super potent. Yeah, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. Gah. <gasps> Bro, you're mine one day. Uh, you know what? Today is the day. No, I can't. <gasps> what? 
Do you see him? He stopped. Whoa! Bro, he's digging through. Oh, he's coming at me. No way. His health is like at half, bro. How? Oh, you got to hit him in his face. That's where he's weakest. Oh, this is nuts, dude. He's creating his own arena for me. Thank you, Gorm. You're pretty dumb. Ho, 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 ho. Oh! I was trying to eat real quick. Don't. No. No. Oh, I was going to say, do not despawn on me, bro. I'm about to kill him. Did I just seriously beat Gorm? Dude, I wasn't even trying. Wait, open it. Oh, look at this. Larval chest fiber. Hold on. Oh, man, there's, I've got too much. Hold on, i got to get rid of some of this. Okay, I think it's a little bit better now. Let's, I keep hitting the dang chest. Let's, uh, let's look. Oh, my God, Gorm's horn, a pointy gemstone that let a larva grow way beyond its maximum size. We got some larval meat. Gorm's stomach bag, 12 inventory slots. <gasps> mysterious idol. Okay, okay, may attract someone looking for a mysterious. Oh, this is what we'll use. To put get an NPC to join us. Larva ring. Two set. Oh, okay. That's a set. I wonder if, who else we got to kill to find out. Mechanical parts. Gold ore. Bunch of fiber. Surprisingly, that's very valuable. Oh, and the larval chest. Two set. Disguised as a larva. Oh, wait. So the set bonus is where we get disguised as a larva? Bro, that's weird. Hold on. I want to pick up this chest. Take it home need to get rid of something get rid of these nice oh my gosh guys that was so huge i can't believe that that was actually way easier than i thought i think he must be like he's got a weak spot on his face like that you hit him in the face it really drains his health away it's pretty i didn't quite think we were ready to take him on but he's just so big and intimidating don't let him intimidate you guys take him on have you know have the courage to give it a shot because it was a pretty fun fight i gotta tell you just watching him waste through all this land right here create a huge arena it's a pretty cool guy so anyway that's going to do it for this episode hit that like and subscribe guys if you enjoyed us defeating gorm the devourer and uh, leave me some comments below i really appreciate them read every one of them guys and i will see you on the next episode